With the recent rains, we've covered dozens of landslides all across the area. Experts say California has always been prone to slides. NBC4's Hetty Chang reports from San Clemente, where the rain has stopped, but the risk remains. We talked with an expert today who actually studies landslide hazards and risks, and he tells us that because of California's topography, it makes us more prone to landslides. I wonder. Are we next? David Boyle can't help but let worry creep into his pristine ocean view. The edge of his San Clemente condo is getting more and more exposed as erosion and recent rainfall is causing the bluff beneath him to slide. We've already eroded quite a bit and there's not much left of the bluff, so every time it rains, um, I'm wondering is it, is it going to keep going? And eventually slip. Boyo believes the bluff has moved about 150 feet in the past four years, and that's just very recent history. It's the price you pay for living here, but it's not just on the coast. Barbara Stone's other house is in Friendly Hills, right next to La Habra Heights, which is also dealing with slides, and those areas are not alone. Take a look at this landslide map from the California Geological Survey. You see all the activity in San Clemente. The map shows every landslide dating back hundreds, even thousands of years. And yes, California is filled with them. The most recent ones in coastal or near coastal communities like Malibu, Rancho Palos Verdes, and San Clemente. The landslides that have moved recently, historically, that we know are in general um, more hazardous than the slides that we don't think have moved since you know, a long time ago. Jonathan Gott is the program coordinator for the USGS Landslide Hazards Program, the only one of its kind in the country. He says experts are watching California closely because the very landscape that brings us rewards is the same landscape that causes risks. It's a place where there are ac active earthquakes, there are mountains, and there are the uh, climatic conditions where you get the atmospheric rivers that bring some of these really heavy precipitation. Experts add those deeply seeded slides, the ones that don't happen right away just as it's raining. Those could take several months, perhaps even several years to happen. In San Clemente tonight, Hetty Chang, NBC4 News.